it's an overkill if what you think is a phone is what used to be a phone. It's the only thing you do to your voice. And I think that these kind of things I envision that will happen, similar thing that will happen to cellular phones went from voice only to really computer in your pocket that also communicates. That's our vision, how to make Atom really be the smartphone for you know, connected devices on the go. And I think it is going to do exactly the same thing into these kind of categories like the phone, which is going to be way more than just doing this one. It may be the center of your house doing security, video, and other capabilities, not just the connection of VoIP to your friends. To the future, 09010, uh, we're going to scale the Atom technology from standby power to something that's going to be equivalent to an ARM uh, computer. Sometimes can be not necessarily bad. So if you're talking about the very low end of the notebook, uh, we may be in a better financial situation if you sell Atom than a low end server. It's true for notebooks, it's true for desktops as well. So as long as it's uh, somewhere in the fringes, maybe even good, in each and natural thing. You can never define this clear cut. Uh, a, it's a wonderful thing, but like anything wonderful, if you buy a car, you can buy a $10,000 car, and if you expect it to behave like the BMW uh, that uh, Pet was showing, it's not going to do that. So if the thing that we want to do is a single task that we want to do, either internet browsing or video or a simple game, Atom is wonderful. You try to do two, three things on this one, and you're not going to be happy with what you do. And many of us, in day-to-day -day productivity work and other things, want to do more. So this is a wonderful machine for a limited, dedicated use, which is going to be wonderful for education, first-time users, a second, third, or fourth machine at home that you want to get access and find out where the things is on Google. It's a wonderful machine. You try to do things at the level of what we've shown over here, it's not going to you sort of think about it, what VoIP was for businesses, which actually has reasonable volume, you bring that into the consumer space, and that every phone that you have in the home becomes an IP phone of multiple services delivered over the IP network. Uh, in this case, I actually had fun with this when I took an ARM-based version of the IP media phone, took it home, now I'm playing with the Atom-based version, you know, night and day performance uh, capability, and it really is just pretty compelling when you start using it around the home. So we really do expect that it will be the way that you have you know, uh, communications devices throughout the home in the future. The um, example of the open IP phone that I showed here, where you were doing, you could do communications and there's a lot left over for VoIP, but as you start uh, adding imaging to it, a rich user interface, a flash-based interface uh, associated with that, then being able to do video over that environment, as well as other internet browsing applications, you know, really showed that Atom, right, the preferred internet access device of choice, and it really came through very nicely in that device.